Our Republican friends campaigned on the claim that they would fight against inflation and fight for the American people. But instead, all they've done is come to Washington and fight with each other. In fact, uh, what's become crystal clear over the past few days is the extent to which the Republican Party has been hijacked by an extremist MAGA faction, a faction not interested in governing, but in their own egos, a faction not interested in compromise, but in their own power, a faction not interested in putting people over politics, but instead interested in putting their own political ambition over the people we serve. What's up, everybody? Major Retired Richard Ojeda here, and Representative Jim McGovern is not holding back when it comes to calling out the MAGA GOP on the House floor. Now, here we are, nearly a week later, considering their deeply flawed rules package. The first legislation on the floor by this new majority, and they are using it to gut the Office of Congressional Ethics. Attack women's access to abortion. Make it easier for big oil companies to pollute. And interfere in ongoing criminal investigations into President Trump. It's nice to see someone say the words out loud and right on the House floor that these people in the MAGA GOP are not interested in making a difference for their constituents. People like Boebert have barely introduced substantial legislation for their states. As a matter of fact, one piece of legislation was designed specifically to harm families that were impacted by the death of a loved one due to COVID-19. Yes, you heard me right. She wanted to make lives harder during the pandemic when someone died from COVID. They're making it easier for billionaires to, uh, and big corporations to avoid paying their taxes. Is that part of their contract with America? Is that their big plan to help everyday people? Because most people who read this package would think it must be a joke. And of course, people like her have spent precious time filing articles of impeachment against Biden and Vice President Harris because working for your constituents just isn't a priority for her. Their ethics rules will be a lot more rules and a lot less about ethics or concern for what happened on January the 6th and a lot of protecting those in the MAGA GOP for those requested pardons and other potential crimes that they committed. While some more moderate Republicans are on the sidelines moaning about how ridiculous it is that they have to share a space with these fringe co-workers, others like Kevin the Coward McCarthy made sure that this was all part of the deal. It's going to be a bit of a circus, and I can tell you all, it's going to be hard to watch sometimes. The fact that people like Boebert, Gates, and Green still have their jobs is a disgrace to the Americans they pretend to care about when they grandstand on the floor. I don't expect the majority in the House to do much for the American people at all, except make our lives harder, and it will be up to Democrats like Representative McGovern to call it out and show the American people why the Democrats should be given the majority again in the next few years. Until then, you can expect a lot of tax cuts for the rich, buddies, and of course the GOP, and lots of baseless investigations into people who weren't in the White House on January the 6th. You know what's the worst part of all of this, though? The same people that were trying to derail the House vote for a chance in the limelight are the same ones that will choose the direction of this new Congress. They will have too much power, and it will be handed right to them by McCarthy because he wanted that speaker role so bad. He'd make a deal with the devil to get it, and that's a fact. Act. Sappers clear the way, airborne all the way.